New developments in the 2016 mysterious murder of a Midlothian fitness instructor and mother of three. Missy Beaver's husband tells ABC News he's done searching for the killer. But police are still very much trying to solve this case. Charlotte Huffman joins us now with what she's been looking into for months now. Charlotte? Izzy, we've been asking Midlothian police about the investigation, especially after we learned of a man who was questioned by police and the search warrant that led them to hold him for 70 plus days. You've seen the chilling surveillance video. Someone dressed in police tactical gear, carrying a hammer and roaming the halls of Creekside Church in Midlothian, where police found the body of the 45 year old mother of three. The video remains a key piece of evidence. I ask everybody out there to review the video. The person has a very distinct walk. Last year, amid a flood of tips, a name emerged, Bobby Henry. Hi. How are you? In this never before seen interview, Henry spoke exclusively to us about the day Midlothian police executed a search warrant on his house. I thought somebody was pranking me. They said, step out on your front porch. I step out on my front porch. There's eight police officers standing out there in full tactical gear with, with weapons drawn. And I'm like, I'm just, you know, stunned. Records show police honed in on Henry because he walked with a limp and had access to equipment similar to what the killer wore. I told them from the get go, I didn't know this woman. Never heard the name Missy Beavers before I heard it on the news. He passed a polygraph, his alibi checked out, and months after sitting in jail and just days after our September interview, police cleared Henry's name and released him from jail. Midlothian police are continuing to follow up on tips, even using a forensic podiatrist to analyze that distinctive walk, but the killer remains on the loose. My wife was a, uh, she was a great woman, a great uh, a wife, a great mother, a great friend. And now, after a year and a half of searching, Beaver's husband says in a statement to ABC News, he's not giving up hope, but quote, my biggest priority now is my daughter's welfare and to do whatever I can to help us move past the pain. He goes on to say, my faith is in the Almighty and the investigators who are working to this day to provide justice and closure. Well, since the murder, that forensic podiatrist tells us he's analyzed several walks, none of which, though, have led to an arrest in the Beavers case. Charlotte Huffman, Channel 8 News. All right, Charlotte, thank you.